Once again, let us honor the Lord. Let us give him a warm round of applause, please. Viva Santo Nino! Pit Senior! Pit Senior! Once again, for the Lord, let us give him a warm round of applause, please. I am Elmer Jose Elmer Mangalinao from the Diocese of Bayumbong, Nueva, Nueva Vizcaya. And it's my first time to be celebrating the, one of the Novena Masses in honor of our beloved Santo Nino. And I am so blessed to lead our celebration the second day of the Novena this evening. Before we begin, once again, I'd like to greet you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Epiphany. Pete Senior. Having celebrated Christmas today, we are still celebrating, by the way, it is still Christmas time. Amen. Amen. That will last until Sunday, <coughs> the, the baptism of the Lord. And um, all throughout the Simangabi and the Christmas time, we have learned that there is no Christmas without Christ. Amen. Amen. Again, can we say together, there, no, Christmas Christ. no Christmas without Christ. No Christmas without the Mass. Amen. Amen. That's why this August Hall is always filled to the rafters because we want to participate in the celebration of the Mass wherein we listen to the Word of God and then later on, some few moments from now, we are going to make a procession to receive the body and blood of Jesus. That completes our celebration, the reception of the Word and the reception of Jesus' body and blood. Now, <clears throat> when we have Jesus in our hearts, when we often celebrate the Mass, I believe we will know that in the heart of Jesus, nothing but love. Amen. Amen. Again, please repeat, in the heart of Jesus, nothing but love. Go. In the heart of Jesus, nothing but love. Again. So, uh, literally, all of us at this very moment will live in the palm of God's love. By virtue of God's love, we exist, we live, we walk, we work, we meet, we do our day-to-day -day chores. Again, by virtue of God's love. I'd like to invite you, when we have Jesus in our hearts, what happened to us? When we have love in our hearts, in our mind, in our spirit, and in our soul. What happens when we have love? Number one, please say the word, say the word, repeat after me. Love charges. Love charges. Two, love, love. Nakalimutan ko na. Ulit, love charges. Love changes. Love completes. What is number one? What is the tama naman? Talaga naka-charge kayo, no? Pag ang cellphone without charge, patay. Can you communicate? Can you con connect? Without a? So, does the charge of the phone empowers the, po the phone? Yes. I have Jesus in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, in my spirit. If I have loved, if I have Jesus in my heart, that is love. As you said, love is power. Love empowers. Love activates. Love enlivens. Love lifts up. Love pulls us up from where we are, from where we are at to where Jesus is. Amen. At the beginning of the Mass, while we were waiting to begin the Mass, some young people were running. And I asked the guard, Bakit po sila tumatakbo? Naguunahan po sa upuan. They're charged. They run. They're full of life. Amen. Amen. 
Pag, uh, di ba pag nagmamahal ka, buhay o patay? Buhay. Masigla o malungkot? Masigla. Uh, di ba o hindi? <laughs> di ba? So, inulit ko mo, that is love. How much more if you have Jesus? Jesus was born in love. He lived in love. He served in love. He suffered in love. He died in love for love. And He rose back to life in love. So brothers and sisters, when you are in love with God, you are full of life. You have zest in you. There is something in you which is different. That is when it comes to electricity. When it, when it comes to legal matters, when you are charged, it means to say you are an accused of an offense that you have done something. So last November, we have celebrated, or December, we have celebrated the persecuted Christians. Do you know that in some parts of the world, some people are being charged because they are Christians, because they are Catholics, meaning they are standing for someone. They were told, do not proclaim the faith. And they will tell, I will die if I don't open my mouth to proclaim the faith. It is better for me to be shut than to close my mouth and fail to proclaim the word of God. You are, you are not supposed to gather together as a community and praise God. It is better for us to die, some people say. It is better for us to die in common than to say no to the invitation of the Spirit to gather in the name of Jesus and proclaim His love, His presence on earth. Brothers and sisters, if, if, the, if the Santo Nino lives and reigns in our hearts, my dear young people, you will be charged by the grace of God to do your share for the community. My dear elders, you will be charged by that grace to do what is best to emulate the presence of the Lord. So once again, why do we gather? Because of Jesus, incarnation of the Father's love. And what does love command tell us to do? To be charged by the presence of God. To be charged by the divine. So that everything you do, everything you are, and everything, everywhere you go, you bring Jesus, and always Jesus, and only Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say it again. Love charges. love charges. Second is love changes. Love changes. Ganito po yun. Nagmamahal ka. Pag nagmahal ka sa Diyos, ako po maraming kilala na in love, nagbago. Tumino ang buhay. Kaya din tanungin natin, kung tayo yung makadiyos, tayo po lahat na naririto, tayo nagsasakripisyo, ano mangyayari sa inyo? You love God, I love God, we all love God. We celebrate the love of God. What happens to us? Please tell me. Yung masama magiging mabuti. Di po ba? Yung sakim magiging mapagbigay. Yung laging galit, matututong, ngumiti, tubama. Yung hindi nagsisimba at nagsisimba pag santo ninyo day lang. <laughs> Magsisimba na linggo. Amen. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, magsimba ka palagi, ha? Amen. Amen. Ang nag-umiibig, nagbabago. Pakiuli nga po. Please say with me, Lord. Can you please raise your right hand? Please say with me, Lord. Make me change. Make me better than yesterday. Make me better than I used to be. Amen. Pit Senior. Kapatid, kapag nagmamahal ka at hindi ka nagbabago, baliw ka. Dapat tumitino. Dapat nagiging mabuti. 
Alam niyo mga kapatid, hindi naman, hindi naman sasabihin ng Diyos, nagbibinaryo ka, boom! Bago ka na. Hindi. The grace of God works every minute of the day. Every day of the week. Every week of the month. And every month of the year. We just need to open our hearts and mind to Him who comes to us every single day of our lives. When we fail to be better than yesterday, and when we do not change from the person we used to be, it is not because there is, nothing, there is something wrong with God. There is something wrong with us. Love charges. Love changes. And the change begins from me. From me. From me. If love charges, if love com changes, the next best thing is love completes. Pakiulit nga po. Love completes. Love completes. Ano ko ibig ko sabihin? Pag meron akong santo ninyo, siya'y sapat na. Amen. Amen. Sabi nga ni Santa Teresa of Avila, solo Dios basta. Pakiro nga po. Meaning, God completes. God, God is enough. Pag meron akong santo ninyo, wala akong buda. Wala akong ponsoy. Hindi ako sa hindi, hindi ako magpupunta sa mga hula. Hindi ako pupunta sa nanggagamot. Bakit? Because God is come enough. God is complete. Pakiulit nga po. Solo Dios basta. Andito na siya. Bakit ako magpapahula? Andito na siya. Bakit ako maniniwala sa pamahingin? Andito na sa sa puso ko. Bakit ako may Buddha? Sasabihin natin, wala namang mawawala pag, pag uh, may nagpapahula. Meron! Ano nawawala? Pananam? Yun ang nawawala. Nawawala ka ng tiwala. Nawawala ka ng pag-asa sa Kanya sapagat Siya lang sapat na. Amen! Amen. Ulitin ko po. Hindi ako po pwedeng Mamaya, uh, pit senior, sumasayo tayo, di po ba? Kayo may mga daladala santo ninyo. Mamaya, pit senior, pit senior, pagkatapos sasabihin, patayin yan, patayin yan, patayin yan. Ano ka, sinuswerte? Yung masama mamamatay, ikaw hindi? Eh, kung sabihin ng Diyos, oo, oh, lahat ng masama, papatayin ko, sisimulan ko sa'yo. Ano sasabihin natin? Lord, go easy on me. Go easy on my faults. Go easy on my family. Not my family, O oh Lord. Have mercy on me. Pero sa iba, give your fullest judgment. Kill them. Annihilate them. Banish them from the face of the earth. Bakit ganun? Ang tindi natin sa pagkakamali na iba. Pero tayo, maawa ka. Maawa ka. Ilan sa Pilipino ang may debosyon sa Nazareno, ang may debosyon sa Santo Nino, ang may debosyon kay Maria. But everything is on the head, not on the heart, not even on the hands. When love completes, it means, I love God. I love my neighbor. I love the environment. Yesterday, coming from an appointment, we, re we arrived at the rectory at about nine, 10 o'clock. And when the church goers, yeah, after, after the 7 o'clock mass, were leaving, I saw pile and pile of garbage. Bottles, 
plastics, cups, papers. San galing yun? Sa mga tao. Sino mga tao? Yung deboto. Ano ang pagkakaiba natin sa nagsimba at hindi nagsisimba? Anong katuturan ng pinagtatataas nating Santo Niño kung baboy din tayo sa kapaligaran natin? Ang linis ko, pero wala akong pakialam sa pagtapon. Love completes. If I love God, I have Him in my mind and in my heart. I have Him in my soul and spirit. I have Him in my heart and outside. If I'm cleansed by God's love, I clean around me. I don't litter. I don't throw things away. I keep them in proper places. Why? Because love completes Because love charges. Because love changes. Ang hirap po sa atin, we are called religious, but we are not truly devoted. Religious, I and God, I pray to the highest heaven. I burn all candles. I buy religious articles, but it is all mine and God. Others, they have nothing to do with me. Environment, nothing to do with me. Only God and my God for my sake and for my family. The Holy Child tells us, it is accepted. But it is not, it, it will never help us grow. Once we love God, we should love our neighbors. We should love our environment. We should love everything that God has given life to. So once again, my dear co-pilgrims, we have given our time here. We have given our talent here. We have given our treasure here. I beg you, I ask you to please open your mind and your heart and your spirit and your soul to Jesus, to the baby Jesus, to the Santo Nino who invited us and we gladly responded to so that like the baby Jesus, the Santo Nino, That handsome boy, Jesus, whose life ends on the cross and resurrected from the dead. That his life may be a reflection of life, our life. His life is love. So also our love. He is charged with love. He is changed with love. And he is completed with love. May the Santo Nino. Draw us closer to his heart. That all of us devotees of Santo Nino may become generous and joyful witnesses of the same holy love of Christmas. Amen.